like we're good now. Okay, so everyone just pretend that audio test didn't happen. Welcome back to the Rising Super Stream. Today, uh, today we're gonna be playing Kuso, and we're here with my good friend and uh, lead developer of Kuso, uh, Fred Wood. That's my trunks Hello. on Twitter. Hello. Hello. Hi. I hear you were the lead QA for this game. I was a lot of leads on the, You know what? I can actually say I was not lead QA. On you were actually not lead QA? QA. Ah, yeah. Damn. There, was, there was a QA team on this game, uh, so that way we could assure quality. Cool. That's cool. I actually didn't realize, so. <laughs> I tried to be funny guy. I just got dunked super hard. I, I appreciate that. Dude, the last month of development on this game was just like, hey, your menus suck. Make them good. Do it again. So I had to keep... Yeah. It's not, not fun. Cool. Great. Cool. So you guys, so so everything seems to be audible now. We had some uh, mic problems earlier, or line input problems earlier, but everything seems good. Um, so we're gonna hop right into this. Uh, so Kuso, would you? So you previously developed a game named Love, which was another uh, 2D platformer. Would you say this is a sequel or more of a spiritual successor? I would say this is a direct sequel. Uh, in fact, like the very the first pixel you stand on in the game is the last pixel you stand on in love. Okay, I should start on Unlimited, like the, right? If, yeah, definitely on Unlimited. Okay, so this is so you're telling me this is the first place you'd start in love? Yeah, uh, well, no, it's the the very end of love is the very opening of Gusa. Oh, neat. Uh, yeah, dirty little secret. I never actually finished love, so. <laughs> that's, that's fair. It was uh, a lot harder than it should have been. So, um, the main mechanic in this game, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, you can place a checkpoint, right? Wherever you want. Yes. And then if, you, I will... if I were to die right here, I would respawn back yeah. to that checkpoint. Um, so, your, your audio on my end is coming out incredibly buggy. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I'm coming through great to you. <laughs> so, oh fuck. Yeah, so... It, we'll figure it out. Anyways, yeah, absolutely. Hello. So tell me a bit about your game. Do you have any? Do you have any interesting tidbits or stories before I go right into cutting into you? Um. Oh, fuck I me. mean, honestly, like I'm not sure what to talk about for the game. Fair enough. Beyond the fact that I've spent the last year working on it. Right. Right. So. Let you me just, hold on just yeah, one yeah. second. I'm gonna duck out of the hangout skull and then I'm gonna jump back in and okay, we'll see sure, how sure, that sure. goes. Fuck god damn it, I'm so bad at this. I previously played this game at a couple of conventions and I swear I swear to god I jump right into this obstacle every time. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so terrible at that specific obstacle. Hmm. It's still bad on my end. I don't know. I don't think I can improve the call quality. So I think you showed me before there's like a secret thing somewhere around here in a hole yeah. somewhere. So in in uh, in the game there are five secret areas that um let's see. Yeah, there there are five secret areas that have little items that you can get and if you get all five of those in one round of the game, you get an achievement. Okay, it's not there. Fuck me. So they they're quite well <laughs> hidden cuz you've shown me one before. Yes. Uh, I and thought they were incredibly well hidden, but uh, really intrepid people found all of them on the first day. Holy shit! Are you serious? On the first day? Yeah. I. So this game is really only supposed to be about a thirty-minute-long game. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's the it's reason. A relatively for the tight experience. Uh, I have been blown away by the people who have uh, clocked like seventeen to twenty hours on this game. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a perfect game to probably to speedrun and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's got a built-in speedrun mode. Uh, everything in the game is planned. There, There's like no random elements, so that way it can be an incredibly perfectly competitive game. Mm -hmm. uh, so when somebody gets the world record, like that is the world record. Yeah. So there's absolutely no random elements, right? Like everything's on a perfect cycle, basically? Correct. And the, the only thing that's randomized is the death animation. And even in a... In speedrun mode, it removes all of the random uh, animations, so that way oh. it's just the one death animation so over it, and over again. So it totally just fixes it. That's actually really great. Yeah. I, I wanted to make sure that this was like the perfect uh, speedrunning game, I guess. Well, that's a really thoughtful way to uh, do it. 
Yeah. Because oh, there, there were some issues in love where there were some like level elements that were on random timers, and I don't know. That's just not the way to do it. Yeah. No, I agree. Hang on, um, hang on. Okay, this bit's really strenuous. Also, I, I find one of my biggest troubles with this game, and I think I remember seeing this at shows too when you were showing this off to people, is people just forget to place checkpoints. Yeah. And like, you'll advance. That's, in that's a really why there's actually like, there's a forced tutorial now. Yeah. In a, in a platforming game where you move left, right, and jump, like you have to do the tutorial. Yeah, because if you weren't placing checkpoints in this game, it would be beyond brutal. Yeah. Like having to do every every level in a single run. Have have you managed to do, like have you ever gotten bored one day and said I'm gonna do just do levels in single run sessions? Uh, yeah, so every single level in the game, I did make sure that could be beaten without having to set a checkpoint. That's safe. It's maybe not the most fun thing in the world to do, but it's certainly possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it makes a difference at the end. People notice. Yeah. I mean, if you couldn't, <laughs> Somebody I would refer think... to this game as the Dark Souls of VVV, VVV, and that is just, that's beautiful. It's basically the Crash Bandicoot of Dark Souls games, so... <laughs> That's, that's what I would think. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can press Y to kill yourself, by the way. Oh, so there's a kill you yourself jump button. button. I see, okay. Yes. Just so that way when you do fuck up and like end up on the wrong uh, side of the level, then you can just ah. quickly kill yourself rather than seeking out death. Fucking handy, because that's what I just needed to do. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Did I get the check? Ah, oh, I didn't place the checkpoint up there. So, so as simple um, as it looks, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 I was about to say, like, do you have any questions for me, I guess? I was gonna say, as simple as it looks, the characters' controls are, like, remarkably tight, and I've always liked touching this game at shows. I think the last time I touched it was at, uh, uh, fucking, god, what's the show we went to together? Too Many Games? Too Many Games, no? yeah, yeah, yeah. It always um, feels fantastic. I, Love felt really good, I, too, to be honest. I think the reason that it feels so good is because, uh, you, you see a lot of modern uh, retro games, games like Shovel Knight and stuff that uh, they, they've they got the retro aesthetic and they they follow a lot of the rules of mm -hmm. having like the, the low resolution graphics and all that. Uh, the difference is that Kuso actually runs at 240 by 136. So it's like, it is an incredibly low resolution game and it is pixel perfect. Uh, whereas a lot of the kind of retro games that you find nowadays uh, run at a much higher resolution, use lower resolution uh, images, and kind of cheat it. Yeah, they cheat in a lot of ways too. And a lot of ways you wouldn't expect. Yeah. So, so this one, instead of cheating it, I went full force into it. And like for me, that made development a lot easier. But it's also, uh, it's it's like specifically challenging. I gotta stop watching you play because I'm I'm trying to come up with words while also watching the game. While watching it on a thirty second delay, yeah, I'm sure that works really well. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what is this jump? What is this devious jump you have at the end of this level? Holy shit! Uh, I just I just placed this checkpoint like all the way back at the beginning of the level by mistake. Fuck me. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, you totally did. Oh my god. <laughs> that was totally a mistake of my own doing. Yep. Fred, you did not fuck me up a, there. You allowed me to fuck up myself. A, yeah, there's a core component of this, which is every time you die, it's your fault. Yeah. Like, I, I never have, like, a cheap death in the game. Can you get up here on the left-hand side? Nope. No, okay. For a second, I was suspecting it, but... I guess uh, I should stick there to the is, ones you've shown me. But I think there I is a lot of artwork already. up there on the far left side, but, like... You can never actually see it in the game. Right. I, I spent a lot of time making each level uh, a complete image without thinking about the fact that, oh shit, no one's ever gonna see this. Let's so can, can you, do you actually have like art or just big JPEGs of these levels that are all like effectively zoomed out collages of the stages? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, not. I'd have to do a little bit of work to to make them like to stitch them together more visible. But like, it, like the every solid object in the game is, or like all of the like the equivalent of a BSP is just a single image. Because aesthetically, so I would think that the, would look the majority, pretty nice. Yeah, the majority of the game is just 
like single graphic images that uh, have collision on them. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Oh fuck! God damn it! Okay, there we go. So you mentioned to me earlier you wanted to talk about this. Um, Kuso supports this neat feature where you can sell the game on Twitch, right? And there's yeah, a Twitch store. So, I had a humorous um, anecdote about that, but tell, tell me, tell me what's up. Yeah, so Twitch has uh, a fledgling video game marketplace where where uh, people are able to sell their games. Uh, think of it like as an alternative to Steam or GOG or anything like that. Um, and one of the cool things about it is that uh, it incentivizes streamers to to play the games uh, that they might already be playing, or it might incentivize people to pick up a game that they normally wouldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, by uh, a portion of Twitch's uh, fees for selling, go towards the streamer that's streaming the game. Which I always thought was a neat feature. And recently I accidentally streamed uh, Psychonauts and Mr. Shifty without realizing they supported that. And I kept looking back at my metrics and going like, ooh, I'm really interested to see if anyone's, nobody's buying. <laughs> I was really shocked in a negative way. I was like, ah, that's such a cool feature, but <laughs> nobody's yeah, going for it. So, really uh, need of you to support Rev, it though. Red oh, Scarecrow from Vine Sauce streamed this yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I had seen a couple of people picked it up there, which is really cool because uh, when, when you bought the game, you get like a little crate that has like some Twitch emotes or whatever the fuck. Right, right. Uh, and then um, you're able to like share that on the Twitch like chat. Mm -hmm. So it's like all of a sudden people are like, oh, I can just buy this right here. And then they started buying it and the little like the little fireworks popped up all over the thing. Oh, huh. by the way, I, I I've seen you do it a couple of times. Your checkpoint can die. It's it's your sweet baby. You got to take care of it. Yeah, no, I, I noticed that, too. And I keep placing it in bad spots. Like I'm going to place it right here. Oh, shit. But that would mean I go back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. OK. I don't know why I didn't think that. You gotta take good, good care you of gotta your, take better your care. sweet baby checkpoint point. <laughs> you were telling this me this game earlier. is actually all about fatherhood. So, is it? What, what's what's the metaphor? No, here? not at all. Okay, it's, it's a total joke. Because I know you have a dog who you're very, very proud of. Who, who I listen. I'm proud of my cat boy, but I don't tend to think of myself. <laughs> yeah, jeez. <laughs> uh, I I'm very proud of my dog. I don't consider myself its father. Ah, uh, I see. That's uh, that has been like this. It's been this like long running thing. Like everybody's like, "Oh, you you must be such a proud father." I'm like, "I'm a human being. That's a dog." Yeah. No. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's weird. Like it's it's a weird notion. But I kind of get why Dude, people say it. You're fucking nailing all these jumps, by the way. Like every single one of these little platform. Oh, things give me that I thought... give me twenty seconds. Well, no, I mean like <laughs> jumping through the fans and stuff on the bouncers. Like you got that. Jumping like, through the fans. Fucking oh, round one. Oh fuck me! God damn it! Why did you do that? Why did you put the ceiling so low? Oh, is just that to... against construction code? Sorry? Is that against the construction code? Like, in Texas, regulations oh, yeah. are different. Are you allowed to have ceilings <laughs> so low there? Like, that's fucked well, up. <laughs> in Texas, we believe in a few things. Uh, low ceilings and being able to carry a fucking sword. Okay, so tell me about <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this. <laughs> Apparently a law passed today where uh, blades over five inches uh, are allowed for open carry. Christ. So, for why? For what reason? <laughs> I like. Here's the thing. I don't know. It doesn't make any <laughs> sense. I'm not sure who decided to pass this. It was something about machetes. Right. Like, I guess because if you want to cut through the wilderness of Texas, you need a fucking machete. But that also legalized swords. De facto. So, so carry a yeah. katana around next time you're in Texas. Basically. Yeah, I've been thinking about uh, investing in some samurai armor and a samurai sword and being a legal Texan samurai. Just for the shit of it. Yeah. Why not? Like, it's always been a dream of mine. It's a lot cheaper. No, I mean, than not at all, Japan but too. like. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Uh, Texas is, is basically the Neo Japan. Okay, I've 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 heard I've heard that before. I think that's the expression that's written on the Texan flag, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I I started thinking about like, wait, no, don't tread on me is not Texas. No, I don't know that much it, about it's, Texas. It, it, it indeed does say the Neo Japan state on it. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, it says uh, I was about to say Ni Hao, and I'm like, wait, nope, not no, that's wrong. Not Japanese at all. <laughs> Completely incorrect in all shapes and forms. Oh, I see that's a button up there. No, it's not a button up there. 
What did I do? Nope. Oh my god. Oh, you have to I saw you do it, right? I see, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand this technology now. Oh, goddammit. <laughs> so, uh... This game is intended to be short, and it is priced as such. I've seen some people complain about the price, and then I've seen some people say, like, holy shit, this is a lot of game for only five bucks, so... I think that's always challenging, because I'm, I'm of the... Oh my god, did I forget to... Oh no, my checkpoint got blasted! My sweet baby checkpoint! <laughs> I'm always of the opinion that, like, if your game's good, I'll, I'll pay whatever for it, you know? Like, I would be down for a game that was this fucking heavenly experience that cost $100 that was five minutes right. long. I would be super down for that, but I know a lot of people, there's a certain value component. Um, right. I know when I was younger, I had this, this conception of value with games that, thinking back on it, I think that was fucking stupid, but as a kid, like not having money it was always about like how much play time am i getting that's really important you know like am i getting an hour a dollar and now that i'm older i think that's kind of a nonsensical way to look at things but yeah i, can totally I think understand i think you're why totally some people, right. why some people are there um oh, sick. thank you for I, uh... placing this checkpoint wall here <laughs> there, there's actually a, another spot to stick that but yeah Oh wait, oh, that checkpoint wall. The checkpoint okay. wall that you just got to while yeah, I'm watching yeah. the stream. It's great, uh, the the folks in the chat, uh, Liam is playing the game, I'm watching him play it on a 10 second <laughs> delay, and then you're hearing what I'm saying about what he's doing on a further 10 second delay, so. Yo, I just botched cause... the entire run, Fred. Oh boy, and you're about to see you that totally fucking in did. 10 seconds. I, I fucked it up so hard. You're embarrassing oh, you me live. That better. And then you did it real bad. I did it literally the worst possible way. Oh my god, who put this I mean, lip here? Put that checkpoint who now? Put that it's lip a lot there. easier the second time through. It is, it is. Oh my god, you fucking asshole. Uh, so <laughs> Jeez. I think I might shave those few pixels off. No, the, that lip's great. I think that lip's really obnoxious in a good way. Yeah. You actually have to think um, about how you so want to proceed there? The, the world record for the game currently is, like, 9 minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, so I'd say we're still which on is world like, record pace. Yeah, basically. <laughs> no, um, that, that's really I, impressive, though, for sure. It's double my record time. Or, it's it's almost half of my record time. Oh, so you're, like, around 18, so, 20 minutes, kind of? I, I think 16 was was my record. I'm, I'm planning on doing a stream on my channel at some point where I, like just stream the hell out of it and like try to get my my record up there just optimize, it was embarrassing optimize, to just optimize. Be completely yeah i it was embarrassing to get completely destroyed by people who picked up the game day one so but i mean I that's always bound to happen for sure for sure so the music in this game i've noticed is really quite good did so you didn't <laughs> compose this, right? This was no. So so the music in the game is by James Bennett, who did the soundtrack to the uh, original Love. Uh, the music in the first game was music that he had made that he let me use, whereas this time the music was made specifically for the game. Ah, I see. I actually didn't know that about Love's music uh, being yeah. made for other reasons, for ne more nefarious purposes. <laughs> right. He like. He made the music, I think, in 2008, and then, or 2007, and I started making the game in 2008. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I was very fortunate to use that because, while I think Love is a fine game, the thing that shines about it is its soundtrack. Yeah, I was gonna say, the soundtrack's really strong in this game, actually. Yeah. Fuck me. Uh, the soundtrack is available on Bandcamp. Uh, it's also... It's available cheaper um, when you buy the collector's edition of the game on Steam because it's it's got like some extra content, but it's also got the soundtrack, which is great. I bought so many. Also, it has twenty six different songs. Like, is that great. one per level or? Yeah, one per level and then a menu theme. Right. Oh god, there's twenty six uh, levels. When... I'm gonna get crushed, dude. 25 levels, you're fine. Uh, and you're on level, like, 11, I think? Right? I've completely so... lost count. As you can see, Fredwood is also a much better counter than I. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I uh, I'm Master Type Setter and Counter. Yeah. Those are my two greatest uh, feats. They're certainly... 
god, I don't even fucking know, man. That typesetter joke has got to go somewhere in the future. <laughs> for, for context, you did uh, typesetting on a mutual friend of ours comic book. Yeah. And you did, you did uh, quite a good job of it, to be honest. But I, I appreciate that. I put a lot of effort into it. It was my only contribution to that book in any way, shape, or form, so I felt excited about it. When I don't know why, but when I, when I picked up the comic for the first time, because I had backed it on Kickstarter, uh, and I saw that credit there, for some reason it fucking blew my mind. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> You're like, wow, Fred knows Mike! Wait a second. I know this guy! Yeah, exactly, like that kind of thing. <laughs> Wait a second, of course he fucking knows him. Oh, apparently uh, James Bennett, the, the composer, is now watching the stream too. Oh, cool. So. Hello, James Bennett. Cool. Pleasure to meet you. Your music's quite good. Is this the Nidhogg of platformers, right? Urek Mazino. Right? That's pretty good. So is Kuso 2 gonna go for a completely new art style in the vein of uh Nidhogg 2? Is that where we're headed? <laughs> Yeah, basically, I just want to make sure that it's visually unappealing to everybody. Just take all the appeal and just throw it right on the floor. Man, Nidhogg 2, like, I, is such a better version of Nidhogg. It plays so well. I love so it well. to death. But I... And here's the thing, like, it's divisive. The, the fucking graphics on that game, you either love or hate them. Yeah. And I'm in Camp 2, for sure. Yeah, same. No, it just bums me out, man. Because the first game is such a th it's such a thrill, and I've yeah. I've um, read some stuff, of course, that the the developer said about how people have different imp interpretations of like what the characters are, which I totally oh, understand because yeah. their their design is so like nebulous. I don't know if nebulous is the right word, but it's so open ambiguous. to interpretation. Ambiguous. Yeah, there you go. Um, and I always had the interpretation that like yeah, they were cool, cool fighter dudes doing this cool fighter fight, and. I didn't expect that I was looking at Homer Simpsons the whole time. <laughs> right. But he did say that um, he just yeah, saw this guy's art and he was like, I really want that. So maybe that wasn't his original idea anyhow. So I don't know. Yeah, that seems totally reasonable to me. Like, it, he's the creator. He can just decide whatever he wants to do with it. Yeah, like, exactly. That's totally fine. Yo, Red Level um, was easy. Yeah, I, I kind of did the same, or like, I, I feel the same way about 5-8, the, the player character in Kuso and Love. Like, I've got kind of an idea of how I think they look, but uh, I commissioned a couple of different artists to give their take on like what they thought. And one of the funniest ones to me was like, some people were like, oh, well, 5-8's wearing a hat. Yeah, he is wearing like, a hat. What? I always see the hat. There's no fucking hat. He's just got a big round head. That's just his so head is just round big and round, and that's how it gets portrayed with, with so few pixels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like, that's fine. And so uh, one of the... the Steam trading cards in one of the Twitch emotes is uh, Five Eight wearing like a private detective coat and oh, like a big old private funny. detective hat. It fucking rules. I never real. I always thought it was a hat too, so I just thought that was by design. <laughs> yeah, and so when uh, I was at a bar with my wife and my buddy Forrest, and uh, somebody sent me the or that person sent me the picture, and I was like, oh. A hat? That's weird. And then my wife and Forrest were both like, yeah, of course, he's wearing a fucking hat. Have like, you not seen your character? Like, <laughs> like, haven't you noticed he drew a hat on every single frame? <laughs> I think that's so funny, because I also thought it was a hat, and up until now, uh, it's been I guess that way. I'm just wrong, and that's okay. <laughs> so does this character, I, sorry, what's his name again? 5'8". 5'8". I'm, I'm gonna write it in the chat, yeah. Does does 5 8 have any any backstory of significance, or is he just trapped in this endless I have no mouth and I must scream hell utopia? Yes. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna say. Like it's there there's some some environmental storytelling if you fucking like look for it, but like that's that's not intended to be the, the focus of right. the game. The game is really just supposed to be a very hard one of these platformer games. And it certainly is that. Because I just yeah. saw we went through some sort of big dragon thing. Uh, or it felt like hmm. guts. I don't know. Maybe it was a cave. It, it was supposed to be a mountain. Like, I, I'd come up with that idea for the level. Like, that. those last two levels you did, uh, you were climbing a mountain and then going back down the other side of the mountain, inside the mountain. Shit. And it was becoming more mechanical. Excuse it's, my It's awful very, very clear. No, no, no. It's it's very clear when you see the entire picture, and 
I guess because you see just such a small uh, screen of it, like that makes sense. It's hard to do with only three colors. Yeah, for sure. And I, I should drop this game to its original resolution right like at the end of the stream, just so people can <laughs> see how fucking tiny this game is when it's like at right. default. Uh, I was frustrated. So all of the uh, the axes and stuff you see are those uh, those spinning blades. Those are animated. Mm -hmm. They're not just rotating ah. because when I rotated them, they look fucking uh, ugly. It, it made like very clean pixels and like clean edges, and I'm like, nah, I need it to be like real pixely and nasty. No, that's certainly true, dude. I uh, that's that's always a thing that bugs me in retro style indie games when they're just tweening and rotating shit. Is yeah. like it. That's not how they used to do it, really. I mean, like, sure, mode seven and stuff, but like, that's the exception rather than the rule. I love that you made it across this this chasm and just forgot to set a checkpoint yep. and just jumped off and yeah. died. You are your own Good worst stuff. enemy in this game. <laughs> yeah. Would you Would you like a little tip on this one? Yeah. Shoot. Shoot. Uh, it is. The right time to jump is as the platform begins to disappear, or is it about to be completely banished. Oh fuck! Damn it! <laughs> now my now my idea I think, of where actually, the jump you know has changed. I think the delay is only like three or four seconds. Okay. I heard you say "Oh damn it," and then I watched you die. Okay, good. Twitch is getting better as we watch. Yeah. So I've currently missed all your secret locations, despite you explicitly showing me one of them earlier on. I still want That's to find okay. the dog uh, one, but I don't. You've missed two, three of them. Three apparently. of them. Okay. You gotta holler yeah. when the next ones come up, and I'll make a point. Okay. Um. <laughs> Did I, I miss think, the dog? I think Did the I next miss one, Nico? I think the next one you'll find is is like very easy to find. It's the one that I think is very very easy to find. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, what not this level, I think it's on the next one. What happens if I put a checkpoint on these platforms? It just seems like a it, bad idea. It dies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Stop going for that shortcut. Explore the whole level. This ain't a speedrun. Okay, well, I'll go this way then. Look at that. Well, there's nothing over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you went for the shortcut. It's alright. I, I oh. should have made that got more difficult anyways. Thank you for making those projectiles move at the same speed as 5.8. <laughs> yes. Because, oh my god, otherwise that would be rough. Yeah, I think it would just be bullshit. So this level that you're currently on is there is a secret. Okay. And I won't tell you where it is. I think you will be able to find it pretty easily. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm looking around. I'm actively staring and glancing around the entire stage right now, so. Oh my god, that checkpoint. Uh, Erek Mazino asks if the game is functional on mobile at all. There's an Android build, but I I don't think we're going to release it because touch controls are bad, and most people don't have uh, a controller on them. So this is an incredibly low-res video of your cat. Yeah, so so <laughs> that yeah that is my cat who uh, passed away last year. Um, oh. She she was my best friend for like eight years, I think is how long I had her. So uh, I the the entire game uh, is is like a tribute to her. And so there are five different videos of her within the game. Oh, that's adorable. I, I actually thought it was all your pets, but that that's no 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 more. yeah all all Charlie. Uh, because I mean, I started this game before we got either the other pets. Oh, that that's we have true. Right, of course. Yeah, I think that's really um, neat, though. Yeah. Uh, the uh, So you got, like, the little medallion that was there? So yeah. there are five of those, and every time you get one of those, uh, it plays just, like, a really, like, modulated kind of meowy sound. Yeah, I caught that. And then uh, whenever you catch the, or get the fifth one on uh, a single stream, or, sorry, not a single stream, on a single run, uh, it actually plays the original audio clip. I just... I have an old video of her singing out the window, and it's just like, oh shit, cool. So it's just a nice little. Uh, that's really nice little wonderful, actually. That's that's super nice. Um, so I hope you haven't set any checkpoints because getting back up here, uh, I've seen two people do it. I'll I'll try, but I did I did not set a checkpoint down here, but I can see why that's rough. That's a really narrow jump. There there is a pixel perfect jump that 
until I saw somebody do it, I thought was completely impossible. Okay, well, I'll put the checkpoint down here then. Um, uh, no. I wanted to ask, by the way, on the video, what, what's the file size of that video? Incredibly low. Oh my god, this was a bad uh, idea. Because, well, so, it's actually not a video, it's... This was a terrible idea. It's probably idea. like a 30... 30 frame image or something like that right okay like it's a sprite uh and the way that i did it was i i took the video and imported it into photoshop and then shrunk it down oh, and it. like sharpened the edges and stuff and up to the contrast really high and then exported it as an animated gif with only three colors so that way photoshop would kind of like interpret everything for me okay cool it seems like it's good a way as i need to do it this bit seems I thought like about tough, doing though. like a full movie. Yeah, so this is the one that that is pixel perfect. So you have to jump but now way that way in advance of the other yeah. opening. Timing is insane. Wow, yeah, I can see why you would think this was impossible until you see someone do it. And now yeah, I've got like, to do it I, if I want to carry on the stream. Well, I mean, <laughs> you could always kill your checkpoint. It's but, true, it's true. Yeah, you should totally just keep doing this. Dude, if you... this is fun to watch. Some of the things, some of the tedious activities I've done on this channel are, like, parallel with this, so I'll make it happen. Do you, do you know the game <laughs> Anima Gated Obsessed. Memories? Kill your checkpoint, baby. Yeah. Oh, I was close. What'd you say? Do you know Sorry. the game Anima Gated Memories? Mm, no, I don't believe so. It's an awful third-person action game that feels like... Feels like the developers went, you know, we really like Nier. I bet we could do that. <laughs> And they fucking couldn't do that. Uh, it's like 15 hours long, and it's the biggest slog of my lifetime. Uh, yeah. I streamed that a little while ago, and that was a good time. Oh, I did it. Congratulations. Thank you. That was actually really hard. <laughs> this is uh, the most challenging point of the game. Oh, shit. Well, perfect. It's a good follow-up. Um, so you're mentioning... Um, this early... one's... Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, uh, you were mentioning earlier uh, talks of like a mobile version of this game or having it having a build running yeah. on Android. Um, yeah, we we talked about doing like a an iPhone and Android phone version with touch controls, and that just seems like it'd be so unpleasant. To it, play. It's yeah, it seems really like counter to what this game is shooting for. So these are all five eight clones or robots, right? There's something because I see their hats. <laughs> they don't have hats. But I can clearly see their hats are there. I mean, <laughs> so uh, on, on the topic yeah, uh, of sorry, go ahead then. I guess go ahead. Sorry. Okay, on the topic of of ports, have you ever considered doing like a novelty port to like twenty six hundred or something and seeing seeing how that came out? Uh, I I'm curious and interested in doing something like that like i think it'd be fun uh, i'd have to really like boil the game down yeah i think um i also am not much of a programmer despite the fact that i've made two games now well i assume game so, maker just has export settings for the 2600 yeah, yeah probably <laughs> right? just, just click the button and um i and i think the novelty ports are fun this game hasn't sold incredibly well, so I kind of don't think ah. pouring time and energy into uh, fun ports is as good an idea as, say, targeting other platforms. That's a fair call. Which is something something that we want to do, but there's a lot of work that has to go into it first. Like, Shit's man, expensive. I would love this. I would love this on Switch. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, I did it. There was a save point, a safe point there, and I hadn't noticed it. Boy, that was rough. You mentioned near. Yeah, yeah. I really, I really want to play more near. Dude, you gotta. Like, Have you played the original I, or? That's the thing. So I, I've only played Automata. And okay. I watched a, I watched like a narrative breakdown of near, which was great. But now I need to go and play near. Was that? Did that happen to be Bunny Hops? No, uh, I watched Bunny Hops later. Bunny Hops is really good, but it didn't get into every single nitty gritty bit that I wanted. Yeah, so when Bunny Hop came to me with the script to proofread, he was like, I just want the light version of it that yeah. someone can read and then and then like understand enough to get into Automata. And I was like, yeah, For dude, sure. you got that. I wanted to get every single like bit and piece of reference stuff and like, yeah, what yeah. to hope for in it. That's not uh, And sure. I feel like I did get that. Uh, with with the other one that I watched, 
the the dude that I did watch though, like he had some pretty cringy ableist jokes and stuff that I really I don't know. I would love to go and do a better version of that. Just to get rid point. of that. Yeah, I can't even blame you. That sounds real shitty. Yeah. Okay, we're here. Oh, dude, these are the crushers. I love crushers. Yeah, I, I love, like, I put just, like, one extra frame of animation that makes it, like, a really satisfying smash the whenever little, it hits the The little camera. bounce at the end? Yeah. Yeah, and it's only there for, like, one frame or two frames or something, right? It's Yeah, literally one frame. It just goes back up one pixel and It looks down. good. And, like, it's a nice, subtle, subtle thing that looks great. I, it's moving to 60 frames per second was such a like amazing thing to go do the the first love <gasps> ran at 30 and it was hard coded at 30 so i just couldn't fix that yeah you just had a deal i just saw your you just checkpoint saw brutal oh, checkpoint no. placement. i survived yeah, a little bit too it's so bad. yeah no i'm i'm proud of you on that one thank you i appreciate it so you can just stand under these guys if you're in the exact right spot, right? Um, not really. I mean, there are a couple. Yeah, I guess there are a couple spots that can. But they one gets they shot change. from the top and one gets shot from the bottom, so that way it's supposed to keep you from doing that. Oh, I see. So there's two patterns to them, basically. Yeah. Nice. This is. A good I think bit. that this level looks pretty cool. Like it does, I, I like yeah. the the aesthetic of it the um the unique projectiles and the smashers really give it like its own visual identity as far as these stages go too yeah yeah do all the levels and, have like that was something unique sorry obstacles? go ahead uh the first 20 all have unique obstacles okay. uh the last five reuse a few and the last level reuses all of them okay i see so everything's jammed in there at the end yeah I, so there, there's actually an achievement for the last level to uh, beat it without setting a second a single checkpoint, and that was my way of getting rid of the YOLO mode that we did in the first game. Oh, wowzers. That uh, sounds really tough. Yeah. So, like, I think it's a lot more fair because you could probably do a successful run of that level in, like, a minute versus doing the entire game yeah. without dying. Can you elaborate it's on the YOLO mode for, for love? Is sure, it exactly yeah. what it sounds like? Uh, YOLO is you only live once. Ah. So in the game, you literally only live once. And it, it, there was an achievement tied to it. Oh, and fuck. I got a lot of complaints from folks who were like, I I shouldn't have to, like, this is unfair. Like, I want to complete the game, but I can't complete the game because it's too fucking hard. Yeah, how do you, how do you feel about that topic? Um, f for achievements, a lot of people say, oh, well, just don't, just don't pay attention to them, whatever, just ignore them. But I always feel like that's kind of a bad way to look at things, because for the people who do care about the achievements, like, that stuff's game-ruining sometimes. Uh, so I'm of the camp that, like, just don't look at them, but here's the thing. If I'm making a game, then I need to be... I need to be responsible to everybody's hopes and expectations as well. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at on that, too. Is like, even if you don't care for them, it's like, come on, you're actually just making it for a certain percentage of people, it's going to be an inferior um, experience. Yeah. So this jump section here is my favorite in the entire game. Just the, the moving up the platforms. It's, uh, it's pretty good, There actually, is yeah. an achievement tied to uh, when you start that out, if you don't use any of those side platforms to get up, then uh, you get an achievement for it. Oh, oh there's see. a secret here, too. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. So you just have to gun oh, it sorry, to get Sorry, it was the on the orange level. My oh, bad. fuck me. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Um, <laughs> I was uh, listening in on a conversation recently about achievements and how they direct uh, players to play games. And people were uh, talking about and posting examples of games where um, the achievements would direct players to play in ways that weren't really the optimal way to play the game. And that was like a game spoiling experience for them. So yeah, I always, I always find that. I, I think that's, I think that's fair. Uh, Giant Bomb talked about a little while back that uh, <laughs> there were some achievements in some multiplayer games where it was like kill a teammate. That and yeah, so that's inevitably, garbage. like, yeah, inevitably there would be somebody, you know, who just got to do killing it, killing a teammate. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, those kind of achievements are bad. Achievements that are just insanely difficult are also bad. I think the YOLO achievement is not entirely unreasonable. Uh, I don't, I don't remember if I ever actually got it. Like, I made sure that it unlocked and tested it properly, but mm -hmm. I don't know if, like, I ever truly achieved that. Like, legitimately. So, as opposed yeah. to loading yourself into the final level with no deaths. <laughs> yeah. Which is uh, something I did in this a lot, but I made sure that every single achievement in the game was something that I could get as well. Right. Fair enough. And so, like, there's, there's an achievement for beating the game in under 15 minutes, and I was like, all right, as long as, like... It's close to my part time, so it's like, okay, if, if people can beat that, then they deserve an achievement for it. No, I think that's fair. That makes sense. Why did you make this jump so tricky? Uh, because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> I'm glad it's as brazen as that. Yeah, no, no, I figured, I don't think this is that hard. You just have it, to, it's uh, not, you have to move with the motion of the axe. The, the, thing that, the thing that scares me about that jump every time is I, I need to keep running after. And I keep yeah, you have up. to keep moving, but only a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you made it through, though. Just enough. Good. So can I ask about the faces on all the blocks? The faces on all the blocks? They have these little uh, happy faces on them. Hold on, let me just Google something real quick. Oh, yeah? Okay, okay. Show me what's what. Um, That is paradelia. Or no, paradolia. Fuck, how do you pronounce this word? Paradolia. What is that? In exactly? that I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't put faces in there. You just see faces. Everybody sees faces. He's wearing a hat <laughs> in this game, and there's faces <laughs> everywhere. No, I know. Like that, that was just a pattern that I put in them, and now I see the faces. But no, I didn't put faces on it. Uh, I see. That, totally that's unintentional. Just that's cool though. So, so um, you're on the second to last level now. Cool. I'm proud of myself. Um. So I noticed that. Um, these destroyed obstacles don't regenerate on death. Um, Correct. Was there ever a point where that was something you weren't sure about, and you? Uh, for for this level specifically, like that's entirely the point. Like you've gotta you gotta break this that way you can get through. Yeah, yeah. Um, but on on those previous levels, I don't know. <laughs> somebody pointed out that like the longer you you spend playing that that earlier level with the gun that's firing at those blocks the harder the level gets because you have less safety. Yeah, I noticed I, that. <laughs> I, I kind of like that, though. I, I know, I think that's cool, too. Um, I think it's also cool because, like, you know, the, the game doesn't stress you out about lives or anything. There are there are no lives to speak of, so... Right, yeah, kinda... there's there's unlimited mode, which is unlimited lives. There's arcade mode, which is 125, and then 10 for hard mode, which is right. very, very hard. Sounds good. Yeah, because I definitely, I definitely get the sense that that's fine for that level, because you just iterate, you do better next time, and, and you'll you'll eventually overcome that. But it is interesting how it becomes more difficult. Yeah. Also, um, when you play on arcade mode and hard mode, there are extra lives. Oh, this is a good uh, section. Sprinkled dude. throughout the levels. Are there? And then on speedrun mode, those and uh, all the Charlie tokens get uh, converted to these other objects, these little speedrun tokens. And oh, if cool. you get all of those in in a speed run, then that's a hundred percent speed run, and you get uploaded to a different speed run board. Oh, really? So there's a separate leaderboard for that. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking about going and doing uh, as a post patch update is uh, creating a leaderboard for every single level, and then have uh, level select be a speed run mode for each one of them. Oh, so you could do like segmented bits. Yeah. That sounds really sensible, actually. I think that's a good feature to add. And so you are on the last level, and man, the, the track that plays in this level is my absolute favorite. Yeah, it's pretty good so far. Is it about to start? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't know how audible the music is, but I hope it's coming through, because it's nice. Uh, let me listen to the stream real quick. Oh, it's perfect. Great. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> loot boxes win. Loot boxes never. I thought about adding hats as DLC. Right. And, Just, and why? He so already has a hat. Wanna... Like, alternate hats, I guess. Yeah, so hats on your hat, I guess. Dude, you should uh, add a DLC we, that we... adds a second hat, but it's just a yeah. hat on top we, of the hat. It... There is specifically code in the game 
so that way I, I can do that if we decide to do that. Oh, sick. That would be really good. Because hat boxes, man, that's where the money's at. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about making it so that way you have to unlock each level by beating one level 8,000 times. <laughs> that sounds uh, sensible. Like, just, for, 40 hours of, like 40 hours of multiplayer to get a character kind of stuff. Yeah, I just figure, like, you know, if it's working for EA. Yeah, like, I mean, it well. gives the player a really good sense of achievement at the end of the day, so... Are these, will these platforms kill me, by the way, the ones that I'm avoiding here? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll continue to not touch them. Uh, most of the things that are white in this game will kill you. Yeah, I suppose so. So, is the game slowing down for you a little bit? Because it's kind of slowing down on the stream. Um, for some reason. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> for some reason, it actually does occasionally. Uh, this computer is not particularly powerful, uh, but this happens when I'm streaming, just because it's gotcha. like the GPU is working overtime on the stream. So, uh, do you have an NVIDIA GPU? Yeah, 1050. Oh, you should just be using Shadow Play. I I guess you can't do. The green screen, green screen video overlay, but it's a lot less taxing on the GPU. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like using XSplit for all the different um, scenes I have. Uh, I, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, th that's kind of the reason I don't tend to stream PC games. Is just like, well, taxes the PC. Oh yeah. So yeah, that makes sense. I always go for console games, and it's it's fine. So I have problems with my Elgato actually, like pretty frequently, but that's yeah. that's a totally different thing. Almost there, man. Oh fuck! Why? Oh, I think that was the ending right there, actually. I think. Three hundred and three yeah. deaths. Is that dropping out? Three hundred. Oh, it is dropping out. Three hundred and three. God damn. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. So are all these different- Hey, you got a D on time. That's not bad. Is, it, is the F rank at 45 minutes? I believe so. Oh, wow. So right in under the <laughs> under the limit. It's passing, that's for sure. Checkpoints. I think the checkpoints is like, I, I allow people to set two checkpoints per level to get an A. That seems I don't remember. more than sensible. So, yeah. um, so those 303 uh, five eights there, were they all robots? Uh, I don't think of them as robots. Okay. All right. I I, I don't know. Like, That's kind of even more horrific so, then. <laughs> right, yeah. So the thing is that, like, 5-8's five eight, five story is that they woke up in... Or they just woke up and they don't remember anything. But they know that, like, everything now is terrible. Mm. Like, there are all these machines that are, like, powered for no reason other than, like, to kill things. And he's, or they're not sure what is powering them. Right, I see. So that that's a little bit of what's going on. And they have no real choice but to move forward, I guess, because there's right. nowhere else to go. I see. So does that does that ending change if you only uh, if you had no? Death, unfortunately, say? it doesn't. Okay, it just stays uh, there, on there's empty. not. Okay. Yeah, there's there's some thoughts we have about doing some stuff. You should totally play through the credits just because it's a level. Oh, cool. Okay, um, I wouldn't have otherwise, but... Because I, yeah. I thought it would just be your name and then it's over in two seconds, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, th technically three people worked on this game. Okay. Uh, there's there's me, James, and then uh, the producer, uh, Jacob. So. Right. So, um, real quick, I'm curious as to, like, so what's the A rank of deaths? Is there an S rank? Like, what, what are the numbers? Uh, the there isn't rank? an S rank. A rank is the highest. Uh... I would have to let me actually pop up the game's code because I do not remember. That is fair. I'm super interested for the for the ranked um, categories to see what what quantifies an A. Because yeah, I think I'm pretty proud of I that D. 50? Fifty deaths. Oh, wow. Okay, so fa fairly it generous. Yeah, but I might be wrong. I might have been a dick. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> oh, somebody. Somebody brought up the fact that you can't get a score of S. That's oh, a good it's point. True. There should no, be S ranks. With no S ranks. All you can I'll, get is I'll, FAF. Go back. <laughs> That's pretty good, too, though. 
uh, I'll go back and see what I can do about that. Um, yeah. And completion 100%, so that doesn't count the Charlie tokens? No, yeah, the, the completion is just referring to how many levels you completed. Okay, is, is there a situation uh, in which that's not 100%? Yeah, if you get a game over. It goes to the screen, oh, but uh, I see. It gives you your results. So this is a fail state um, for the other modes as well. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's a success state for the fact that you get the achievements and stuff for beating the game. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember where that would be for the thing. So you should give the credits a shot, and uh, I will tell you that there is a secret in the, the credits that I think is pretty good. Okay. And I bet, I bet you can find it. I'll keep an eye out then. These are cute credits, though, for sure. Thanks. I got a place checkpoint. Yeah. So we safety. had. Uh, so I did the uh, everything. James did the music. Uh, Jacob produced it. I was gonna say uh, the running animation is the only bit of animation in the game that I didn't do. That was actually done by Paul Veer, who worked on Nuclear Throne and did the animation for Sonic Mania. Oh, cool! I never yeah. would have, I never would have been able to call that. That's awfully specific, but he's he is talented. Yeah, Paul Paul Veer fucking rules. Yeah. That's for sure. Oh, there's Rami's name. Of course, and Rami will kill you. Oh yeah, for sure. Only Rami, I'm sure. Uh, he's All a good kid. Will lift you up, but Rami will kill you. Yeah. I hope it's everything you wanted or needed it to be charming see, what did I put for the cheap or for the uh, results let's see if player spawns are less than 25 you get an A okay if, if okay you can die 40 times and you get an A and under 15 uh, minutes yeah. is an A so like fairly demanding, but you still have you still have chances. Yeah. Oh shit! You found it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you need to make a big jump from the top. I see. No, you don't. You can just walk. Oh, you can just walk you off. Just okay. Walking. Nice. I'm gonna keep placing checkpoints in this awful corner. <laughs> I'll never get back. I assume there's a way back. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I've tried. Probably, yeah, no, there is no way that I can that high up that is. I really, oh, shit. really love... You gotta go in that hole. Thing. Yeah, it's fun. All these, like, back, back and forth jumping areas are nice. Oh, shit, I saw a little tease there of an image. Yeah, it, it's just another Charlie, but it's... It was just a fun thing to add in an extra level into the game. Yeah, for sure. And it's a really good way to do the credits, too. It's a really elegant idea. There he is. Oh. And of course, you get, you get an achievement. So, yay. Oh, wow! There's a little photo of him and everything! I, I'm, I'm actually blocking the way. There it is. Dedicated to Charlie. Wow, that's adorable. And then the game... Oh, and then the game yeah. switches to my other monitor as it reboots. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic, by design. So that's well, cool. Chris, yeah, let's... so you have now uh, played through the entirety of Crusoe. Cool. Uh, there is speedrun modes and some challenges, or not challenges, but uh, the secrets and stuff. Right, and but, there's level select yeah. for all that stuff. Oh, cool, and you have a little visual of each level before you start. That's really handy. Yeah. yeah. Also, you can control 5-8 uh, on the main menu, which is neat. Oh, can you? Shit. Hang yeah, on, you can just move left and right. Shit out. Uh, yeah. The Don't. producer was like, I feel like you should be able to do that. Yeah, I think that's fair. Getting the buttons in there, I guess, is a bit much. Oh, whenever you, like, go back to another screen here, it, like, resets it to your, your oh, first monitor. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it sets it to monitor one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Shit, okay. Shit, bad, y'all. No, no, by design, um, by design. That's so, okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, this came out on the 7th of November, just last week, and it's available on Steam, available on Twitch, is it on any any other places we can find this game? Uh, we're going to be probably putting it up on Itch and Humble in the future. Uh, and then we'll, we're looking at some console releases. You know exactly what handheld I would like to release on. Um, yes, I do. And it's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I guess we'll see if that happens. 
I for now this is the game. There will be more sometime next year. We have a lot of like post release support plans. The the game has to continue to sell, so that way we can afford to do those things. Yeah, uh, so. that's right. Well, I, I hope I, that goes well. Thank you for thank you for making the time to yeah, to be with me and guide my hips through Kuso. Uh, <laughs> if you want to follow Fred or anything, he's at that's my trunks on Twitter. Uh, trunks, as in the Dragon yep. Ball Z character, I assume. That's exactly what it's from. That's yeah, exactly one hundred percent. I I am a terrible weeaboo, and yeah. How old were you when uh, you made that name? 14, 15 maybe. Okay, well there you go. It's fine. It's okay. I've certainly been using it for too fucking long. Yeah, a lot of people. Uh, I'm also on go ahead. on uh, on Twitch. I'm just gonna type in the chat. Yeah, yeah, fair cop. A lot of people asking for an N gauge port in the uh, in the chat. I think yeah, a, lot, a lot of people I, don't realize how much. Recently. I think a lot of people don't realize how much you and I specifically have spoken about the N gauge to each other. I, I was there when you went on your N gauge journey. Yeah, I was like, "Yo, Fred, check like, this out! I bought this N gauge and all these shitty demos." And you're well, like, you "Wow, great prototypes. job!" Yeah, right. Super fucking cool. <laughs> uh, did did that did that uh, Elder Scrolls game actually come out, or was that just a prototype? Uh, the Elder Scrolls game for the N gauge is publicly available, but it's only review code. But there's still cartridges. Um, you can Man, I get gotta it. I get one of those. It's yeah, I really want to get it. I, well, I got Xanadu next, which is like that's my N gauge holy grail right there. Um, nice. But yeah. I uh, you know that like N gauge continued on. Yeah, wow, a hundred bucks for European review copy. Ain't cheap, huh. ain't cheap, man, but you only sealed. get that. Sealed. Sealed, Crazy. holy sh- A sealed um, review copy of that? Really? Who didn't want to open that the second they got it? That There are two sealed copies up on eBay for $105 That's uh, and $18 shit. I hope I can afford hmm. that one day. It's real. Uh, did you know that they made a Metal Gear game for N-Gage, but not N-Gage, but the, uh, the mobile yeah, Cell yeah. Version of Engage. I I did. I've I've, it's, been, uh, I've been working on trying to get that good. streamable. I uh, I I have it streamable. Oh, you do? Cool. I was actually going to. Yeah, I'm gonna probably do a stream of it at some point because the would... only uh, archived footage of it online is in Spanish. Yo, when you're done with that, I will pay you to mail it to me so I can stream oh, yeah. it. Dude, I will fucking absolutely mail it to you. That'd be great. Because I bought a Frame Meister, and that was one of the reasons explicitly was so I could hook that up and get a real nice image. Because we need it. Damn, that, that's the one that where you can really good. change Snake's camouflage with the photo with a photo, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have to have better camera for it, I think, than the phone that I have that has it. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the phone that I have that has it, like, is not a very good phone, but I guess there just isn't a very good phone, right? For, for the, Engage games. There's a best choice, but it's not, like, it's hard to get a lot of the older feature phones, like... And it's also not, uh, the, the best versions of the phone didn't have video out. Yeah, that was another challenge when I was looking at it, too, was, like, figuring out which ones could actually output. Uh, but yeah, when, when I when I get my full recording of it up, I will send that phone to your way so that way Yo. you can do just a fucking terrible stream. It'll be Sick. great. No, that would be dope. I'd be super into that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for for hanging out and uh, helping me through Kuso. I super appreciate that you're able to make the time and uh, congratulations on the launch. I hope, I hope uh, it continues to go well for you. Well, thank you very much, Liam, and I, thank you so much for having me. This has been a blast. Nah, it's my pleasure, dude. Anyway, uh, have I'll, a good I'll one. I'll now leave, so that way you can stream <laughs> something else. Yeah, I'm going to switch over to other uh, less difficult games. Easier titles. <laughs> All right, man. Well, take care. Bye. See you later. Have a good one, dude. Well, that was Fred Wood. He's a super nice dude. I hope you guys were... were down with that stream. I don't I don't think we've had a call-in guest before, so that was fun to do, despite the <laughs> myriad technical problems at the beginning. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little look at uh, Fred's game, Kuso. Um, oh, well, actually, someone made the joke saying, goddamn Kuso gay. That was something I totally should have mentioned to Fred, or with Fred. The website for this game is www.kuso.ge. He bought, he knew, he knows. He is, he's aware of the joke, and he is so in there that he bought the website, so. Um, anyhow, we're going to switch over to another title, I 
this point because uh, we've got a couple to go through today. Um, I'm going to take a minute and go grab another glass of water and go to the bathroom. Uh, and then we're going to resume with, I think we'll resume with Jack and Casey. I'm going to that shit in. Jack and Casey. It's not a supported game on Twitch. It is a supported game on Twitch. Never I fucking mind. <laughs> All right. We're going to be back shortly, so... Uh, hang tight. Hang hang tight. Go do... Drop and give me like three or four push-ups. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs> 